Right, I just wanted to bring you out and show you this on a live road bike that's actually street legal so I can ride it on the road. This is a 2009 ZX14. Uh, I've noted it has a digital gear indicator, which I won't put my finger over this time. You can see I've actually left this one in sixth gear when I've stopped. And what I just wanted to show you quickly was how, I won't bother with that, how you get the bike back into first gear while stationary. And the problem is, even with the engine running, it won't want to go back into first gear. So what we do, start the engine and as I explained before, we slightly release the clutch to the take up point and then push down with our toe. Slightly release the clutch, push down with the toe. Slightly release the clutch, push down with the toe. Notice we're down to third gear. Let's do it again. Slightly release the clutch, toe, clutch, toe, and there we are in first gear. And we're good to take off. Now I just want to quickly demonstrate a couple of clutchless gear changes. Preload the foot, rock the throttle. Do that again up the hill, it makes more sense. We're in first gear, clutch out, gently lift the gear lever, watch my hand. That's a clutchless gear change. We'll do that again for down changes. I'm on a trailing throttle, I'm preloading the lever a little, just pull the clutch in and it will slip down into first gear. Let's turn around. Okay, once again, clutchless change. I'll put my foot under the lever. Let's try that again up the hill. Put under the lever, watch the hand. Once again, an up change. This time we'll just use the clutch. Preload the lever. Pull the clutch in. Down to first. We'll do that again. Throttle hand is set, it's not moving. I preload the lever. Clutch. I preload the lever. Clutch. The other way to do it. Preload the lever. Back off. Back off. You see I get off the throttle and back on it straight away and it just slides through the gears. Easy as pie. You can use the clutch, or you can use the throttle, or you can use both together. The key to using it properly is to put a little bit of pressure on that gear lever at first. Preload the lever slightly. Once again, I'll watch my hand. Once again, let's go up to a high gear and go through that procedure to get back into first gear. Here I am, I've stopped at a set of lights or a stop sign. I'm in sixth gear, I want to go. Even with 200 horsepower, we're not going far. Push down on the lever. That's five. Let the clutch out slightly. Push down, that's four. Let the clutch out a little, push down. That's three, let the clutch out a little, push down. That's second, let the clutch out a little, push down. That's first. If you simply sit there stamping on the lever, it might change once, it might work. Most likely what you'll do is bend your selector forks.
for watching.